for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the mad cheese as always. Got a new offense for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a part one and a part two here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some run plays. A very good run play scheme that I first put out a couple years back. It's one of the best run play schemes in the game. It's out of one of the best playbooks in the game. If you guys don't know, I just dropped a full New Orleans Saints ebook. I have links in the description below for you guys if you guys want to check that out. But it's a way better book than I was expecting. I was kind of disappointed when I came into Madden 22 with some of the stuff that they took away. But a lot of the really good stuff is still there including some of the formations i'm going to update the formation itself is the single back wing stack there's some amazing pass plays plays that work on both current gen and next gen plays like the flank or spot if you guys want to see part two hit the like button let me know in the comment section that's one of the glitchiest plays in this game i can't wait to bring out part two like i said if you guys hit the like button enough but we're going to focus on uh the run plays today we'll do like we always do we're going to go we're going to put them all in our audibles the halfback zone week's already in there uh one of the other best plays is obviously going to be the stretch and then we'll also put in uh, the jet sweep those are the top three plays if I were to have a fourth play I might uh, throw a pass play in here at the end I guess maybe we'll show the smash I'm not entirely sure but for now those are the top three plays so we're gonna start off with the halfback zone week on the defensive side we're just gonna go random 4-3 because I think they have the most diverse uh, version when it comes to 4-3 plays as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor AOEAH.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below is your discount code money to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market so this particular play here, this is probably going to be run best against defenses like cover two, uh, man and zone. Uh, basically because the safeties are so far back. I'm not sure what this is, but it's probably a cover two. Uh, one of the reasons that this formation is so good is because these receivers here typically pull apart uh, whoever's supposed to be in this gap. That's why this play is going to have so much success. If I motion him across, I thought maybe that gap would fill. As you can see right there, it does. Uh, the DT basically just goes right over the guard now. So that's the reason that this is such a success successful formation. It's because these two receivers are stacked right here where they are. It really, for whatever reason, creates this lane pretty much every single time. So we're always going to pretty much have that. Uh, and if there's a linebacker, like if it's a dime package or a, or a nickel package or something like that, a lot of times the linebacker will be out wide to these guys as well making it a very easy run so we're just gonna go we're gonna run like this one time typically that guard is my lead blocker as you can see right off the bat we get a very big play Tyron Matthew will probably keep me from scoring a lot of touchdowns in this game because he's such a good safety but let's go and let's see what happened on the play it's not as simple as it looks number one pre-snap read very easy I want to make sure I have a gap here but ultimately this guard acts like a fullback he will typically double team at the point of attack which you know seals that hole another thing we have really want to watch for is it's also really good if this defensive end is out wide like this because this guy here here is just going to stone him stand him up and basically create that instant gap now obviously if this linebacker shoots the gap i'm going to be in trouble but that's what's so good about this guard he typically after he gets that first block passes off to the next level and then you can see here he gets a really good block freeing me but ultimately he didn't have to do all that i would have gotten through that hole regardless just as long as he gets hands on that guy so here's another opportunity this is something i mean you can make some adjustments too if i really want to i can motion this guy across give myself a uh you know an additional blocker i don't find it's necessarily 100% important but you can see by doing that creates a lane outside of him which I probably wouldn't have had on that particular play that particular play you can see based off of the alignment I kind of have a guy I mean I'm heading in this direction but there's not really the gap that I want he's kind of going to get in the way so bringing that guy across to give myself an additional blocker to basically seal that edge and take it around those guys basically changing where the hole is is, is a really smart move so you can see right there we have multiple areas that we can attack if I didn't do that I probably would have had a very skinny lane to try to get in between these two guys and that wouldn't to work out anytime you have a look like this you have a spread defensive alignment which you'll get a lot like i said that two wide receiver set big part of the reason right here we still have a linebacker in that gap but we're going to make sure that this guy gets off and attacks that next level anyway there he was kind of slow to get off but didn't even matter he didn't even get to the next level i just basically took it wide you can see how consistent of a run this can be here we have that look, but we also have a look where there's an extra safety in the, you know, it looks like it might be a cover four. You got an extra defender in the box. So this is a perfect opportunity to go with the stretch or the jet sweep. It's really up to you. The stretch is probably best against cover three and cover four. The jet, the, the jet sweep is also, but on a look like this, I think it's best to have my fastest guy running it. This looks like it's probably a man coverage look. And typically when you get this motion, the man coverage
coverage guy doesn't have time to follow across. So I'll take my fastest guy around the edge and just get as much as I can. I, I got probably close to 10 there. So here's another look. If you have him in tight like this, probably looks like a man cover one. This to me is probably your best look against man coverage. Against man coverage uh, and against cover three and cover four, this is going to have a lot of success. So we'll go, we'll go with that jet sweep one more time. You have the fake, which, you know, right here, like I said, I'm just using my speed to get outside of that. If I have, if that defender is in tight, to the box like that that's a perfect opportunity here's another one he's in like that again i know that i have a super fast receiver i could probably get outside of anybody including a, a you know great player like tyron matthew as you can see i can just basically sprint to the edge and we're gonna have a lot of success sometimes that guy will get caught up in the trash and it'll be even easier but you can see we're averaging 10 plus pretty much every time now here's a look that i could just flip this play since we have a hole right over the center we could use this like a dive uh, which i wasn't using previously and then you can see i mean it doesn't really put me right towards that gap but i could get back into that gap so just keep that in mind. Now I guess a look like this, which is a cover three look, you could still use the jet sweep, but you don't have the option to motion anybody across. The, the jet sweep acts as the motion. So I pretty much used that up, but you can see the cornerback is still very successful. The cornerback takes himself out of the play by the time he recognizes what's going on, you have a big play. You also have the option though, to go with the halfback stretch. Now if you go with the stretch, you can flip this play, which you can't do with the sweep. You can obviously run this to a couple different directions, and you can also add yourself an additional blocker by motioning this guy across. Typically, when you motion tight ends, it doesn't shift the formation. Like, if you motion across a receiver, it'll shift the formation. Let's go and let's show that real quick, um, just to let you guys know that that's typically the best way to go is by shifting a, a tight end. As you can see, if I do this, it completely shifts the formation. Now you have a safety outside of your tight end. I can still run the play like this. It'll still have success. You can see the safety pretty much takes himself out of the play, but it completely changes how I run it. So to me, it's best against cover threes just to run it to the receiver side, motion across the tight end. We already have um, you know, two on two blocking out there. Now I should have somebody that can really seal that edge and get me outside. As you can see, you know, once again, the corner I can still drop back. It still gives me an easy 10 yard run before anybody's close to me. So I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys wanna see some explosive passing plays tomorrow, uh, out of this very same formation. Uh, two plays in particular that are super glitchy, whether you're on current gen or next gen, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I'll do that uh, tomorrow or Saturday, whatever my next video is. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.